Julie, thanks for coming and joining me today. Welcome back. We are doing a Bible journaling process video, and we are doing week two of the My Heart of Thanksgiving Bible journaling challenge that is on Instagram. And the text is in Psalm 103, which I have already journaled on that page and the previous page. So what I'm going to be doing is make a tip in going to be making a tip in out of this paper and this is simply from a paper pack that I got at Walmart it is a color block set but I picked out some pretty paper and I'm lining them up and I'm going to go ahead and cut now I might recommend go ahead and attaching your paper together because you'll see once I have to um, I had a hard time cutting it and then right now once you're attaching it I'm using my ATG gun which is just a really strong adhesive but you have to be careful to get it perfectly lined up so it might be best to go ahead and attach them adhere them together and then cut them that way you know it's going to be perfectly lined up I'm rounding my edges now this paper is 8 by 8 and the Bible is roughly 6 by 8 papers so I just trimmed off 2 inches on the edge and it worked perfectly now what we're doing is making an ephemera tip in. What that means is ephemera are all these little paper pieces. That's all I'm using today are paper pieces. And it's just going to be kind of a mixed media, but well, it's not really mixed. It's all paper, except I am using a little bit of ink just to spun the edges, um, sponge, not spun, sponge the edges. I did that earlier on most of these things. Now a lot of these pieces came from a dear friend of mine. She sent them to me in happy mail to um, honor me for Pastor's Appreciation Month. I'm a pastor's wife and she sent them to me. And this text says, He forgives me and heals me and redeems me from death. And what I really like about God is that sometimes He uses other people to help heal us and to help redeem us from death. You know, sometimes other people can really encourage us. And that's what uh, my friend, maker mom, her name is Angela, that's what she did for me. And so I wanted to use a lot of these pace, pieces that she sent on this page to help remind me that God forgives me, He redeems me and heals me, and lots of times He heals me through other people. So what you see me doing is just playing around with the pieces here. And this prompt, the little tag that I'm using on the prompt, is from Pink Peppermint Paper. And um, I will link that. Um, Pink Peppermints and uh, Goosekeeper Designs on Instagram are the ones who have created this challenge. And it's just a four-week challenge to help prepare our hearts for Thanksgiving. You can see me fighting with this glue right here. So um, I, these are free printables, the, the prompt card that I printed out. And the rest of the pieces that I'm using are just ephemera, either some that she sent to me or others that I had. And I'll link what I can find, what I think I might have um, access to. Some of it's really old and I've just had for ages. But when you want to layer and um, just do a, a collage like this, it really helps to layer your pieces, um, alternate, stack them, anchor them. And what I mean by that is have one piece reach to the other. You see how I made the flower reach to the doily. You see how I made the um, bookmark reach up to the butterfly. You see how I had the two pieces of the hem. Um, I extended them and they reached up to each other. So, uh, and then you also want to do some of the papers diagonally, kind of cattywampus, and it just gives some variety. You want to have different textures. That's why I have that skeleton leaf in there. That's why I have the fiber for the tag. That's why I have that mesh underneath. That's why I have the doily. You just have different textures. And now I'm adding some sequins. And what I've really done, I'm, I'm using that same glue, 
but I'm literally picking it up. I'm, I'm licking my finger and picking it up. It's kind of gross, but um, it you can pick up the sequin with a wet finger and then you can apply the glue and then stick that down. I'm using some double-sided tape to put on both sides of this tip in and I'm going to stick this in the gutter of the Bible. Now this stuff is really strong and I always fight with it. Um, once I get it in there it seems to pull the page on either side so then I just play with it a little bit and I put some washi tape on either side of it to um, keep it from pulling the Bible page and that just seems to help. So but because this page is a little heavy, it does help to have that double-sided tape. And now I'm just using some washi tape. I'm folding it um, over, and then I'm sticking that in there. I just use a paint card or a credit card or anything like that, a gift card, to push that down into the gutter. And so there we have it. It was a pretty simple um, page. It was just a matter of getting things where I wanted to. There's really no right way to do it. I am making a tag now. And I just cut out a tag with my tag punch using um, some cardstock. It's actually a, from one of these tags that came in a set. And I'm using some Word Fetty that I got out from the, the new Word Fetty set, uh, set on the Print and Pray shop. This is one of the Elaine Davis's sets. It's uh, fall themed. And I picked the word gratitude. Going to use a little bit of washi tape up top and bottom to anchor it. I did cut that down in half. This is the same washi I used on the opposite page. So there we go. I'm going to date it with just my pen. It might be a little difficult to stamp because I've got so many layers here. And I'm really not going to do any journaling on this page. Um, the tip in the prompt has it all for me. So let me know if you have any questions. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And come back and join me next time. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments section. I'll be sure to answer them. Thanks so much and bye-bye.